Hey there you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. Also hit the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. As you can see, I am in a different setup. We have moved twice in the past couple of months. Um, we do kind of have some changes and things coming up in mine and my husband's life. Um, I will share that with you guys later on. Things haven't really been finalized, so we'll go ahead and share that with you when the time comes. But for today's video, it's going to be a Little Mermaid theme decoration, like party setup that we did for my little sister, the weekend of the 4th of July so I do want to share that with you guys I didn't really record much just because we were super busy and it was just a lot to do in the time that we were there um, so I only got like a couple of clips and I also took a lot of pictures which I'll also include in this video so that way you guys could see kind of how we did the setup how we did um, like the food the decorations just all that in between so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This will be a voiceover video, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get right on into it. So the night before, all we really did was just kind of put all the decorations that we didn't want to have to do the next day, which was the balloon arch. We filled up all of the balloons and put them all together and just kind of laid them down. We got all together the food items that we were going to put on the candy table. This was the thing that took the most time, so I'm glad that we did that. There's my sister. She helped me actually do the cake topper, which was going to be a mermaid tail. So she's very, very artistic, so I just let her kind of do her thing, paint on the mermaid tail that was made out of gum paste. I really wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, but in the end, it looked alright and I loved it. It looked really great on the candy table. So the cake was mainly for my little sister. Um, I also made cupcakes for the party. I just mixed three different colors and I did a little bit of a different technique that I've never done before. And if I was going to do it again, I think I would make the saran wrap a little bit longer so it would fit in my piping bag. So basically, so that way your colors don't get all like muddy, I guess, the colors won't mix together. You make saran wrap like pockets, I guess. I'm not too sure what these are called, but you just make them so you can kind of take them out of the piping bag and refill them. So that way you don't have to fill another piping bag when your colors are starting to mix. But like I said, I needed to make that little end point a little bit longer so I can pull it through the tip. So I mean, trial and error for first time things. To give them a little bit of a princess sparkle, I went ahead and added some disco dust that is edible onto the cupcakes so they can sparkle and these are how they turned out. They were super beautiful and every guest loved them. If you're looking for an inexpensive way to make things for a party, DIY is always the best thing. My mom DIY'd a lot of these decorations as well as like those little crabs that you saw, the Rice Krispie treats. Um, that's just the best way to go for us. It's cheaper and it's more fun, I guess, to put your little touches to your own party. I DIY'd a couple of things as well that I took. And I want to give a lot of credit to my mom because what she made it turned out super cute, adorable, and it was, I'm pretty sure, a lot of time for her. So the next day, this is when we started putting all the tablecloths and everything onto the tables, getting all the food tables ready as well as the candy table, which this was the candy table here. I struggled a little bit trying to get that on there, so I did get some help from my mom. 
but I mean I was so in love with how this party turned out I almost want to be a party planner but it is a little bit stressful maybe down in the future I will do that with my mom or something I don't know I do really enjoy making like decorations parties and all that so I love it You can also make the simplest of decorations. These are coffee filters and I had like leftover tie-dye dye and all I did was dye these, put them on a string and basically I was trying to make these look like kelp but like different color kelp not just green to hang up on the roof. So basically you just kind of crumple them, whatever, pull them down and they look so beautiful. This was like my favorite thing. And we also got a bubble machine so that way when the guest walked in it kind of looked like you were going under the sea. So as you can see that was the last video I got of the candy table so this was the finishing pictures of what was made and how we set it up. I do want to know how was your guys' 4th of July weekend? Since we were visiting family we didn't really do much all we did was spend time with them. Um, since we won't see them for a little while, but let me know in the comments what you guys did and hopefully you all stayed safe. Also, you're going to see a couple of pictures of the balloon arch with balloons missing. It was a hot, hot day, the day of the party, so the balloons were just popping. They didn't really want to stay. That was the only sad part about that, but I mean, it looked great. Everything else looked so nice, so I wasn't too bothered with it. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite decoration or food items such as those crab witches. Those were the cutest things that my mom made and everyone enjoyed those sandwiches. Um, and I will see you guys all in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you guys have any video ideas because I do need some suggestions. I do have some upcoming videos but I would like to know what you guys would like to see. So I will talk to you guys all in my next video.